Hello and welcome to another ARC tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you a few different methods to tame a Quetzal. If you didn't know already, Quetzals are great for mobile resource bases or for carrying a lot of stuff from A to B. Either way, a Quetzal is a great tame to have at your disposal. So there are a few things you'll need. The first and hardest is to find a Quetzal. They usually fly pretty high, but you should be able to see them from pretty much anywhere in the air, as long as you're not at the world ceiling. After you've found the Quetzal, there's a few different routes you can take, but firstly, make sure you check its level. I always recommend taming anything over level 130 if you're playing on official settings. Next, you'll need a flyer to help you get close to the Quetzal. Any flyer will do, but I strongly recommend using a Griffin for this since you can fire weapons from its back. If you don't have a Griffin, don't panic, you can still do this. You'll need a net gun, grappling hooks, parachutes, a flyer, and a few dino gates. Position yourself slightly in front of the Quetzal, hop off your mount while using a parachute, and grapple onto your flyer. Switch to your net gun and trap the Quetzal. From here, I recommend using some dino gates or really any other trap to keep the Quetzal from running from you, but I didn't do that and was lucky enough to have a Quetzal get stuck on a tree. Easy. So easy. If it didn't get stuck, I would have continued to net gun it and trank it, although its torpor drain is high, so I'd use a ton of extra trank darts. As they say, there are many ways to skin a cat. Anyway, you'll need at least 70 trank darts, unless you get nothing but headshots, in which case you'll only need 24. Additionally, you'll need either 11 exceptional kibble or 24 raw mutton, and at least 31 narcotics to keep it knocked out during the taming process. After you get it knocked out, life is easy. Just keep an eye on its torpidity to ensure it stays unconscious and you're good to go. Its regular saddle unlocks at level 76, but the platform saddle unlocks at level 97, which is where most of the utility of a Quetz comes in. With the platform saddle, you can do all sorts of cool stuff. You can make a mobile refining station, complete with forges, a smithy, and anything else you might want. Or you could turn it into a mobile hatchery with AC units and a generator. Or maybe you want to make it a whole base and live inside it, but regardless of what you do, the only limit is your creativity. And, of course, structure limitations to platform saddles. But those can be refined in your settings. If you don't have the platform saddle yet, the Quetzal is still super useful. Use it to bring your resource gathering dinos around like the Dodicarus and Ankylosaurus, just like you would with an RG. But the Quetz is much slower than an RG and the weight is far higher, so it's really up to you how you want to use it. Thank you so much for your time and we'll see you in the next video.